So most people not only want to look muscular and have a lot of muscle, they also want a low body fat percentage whilst keeping this muscle and potentially even adding some. But I have the same goals. So I've been training for about 3 to 4 years now and I was able to get in pretty decent shape I would say. But over the winter I was eating a bit more to build muscle and therefore also gain some body fat. My goal is to look lean and shredded this summer and I'm gonna tell you how I did it last year and how the plan looks like for this year. This will benefit you and me because you will know how to get shredded after watching this video and I have to commit to it. So by the time I post this video it's the middle of May so I would say we have around about 6 weeks until it's time to walk around shirtless and we go to the beach and that's when we want to look shredded. But before I start talking about the first steps that we'll have to follow, I want to show you a few inspiration pictures of people who have a physique that most of us want to achieve this summer. Even though discipline is much more important than motivation, I think these pictures will help us in hard times when we have to keep going. So the first physique is Brad Pitt's body in the movie Fight Club. He doesn't have a lot of muscles, but because he is so lean, he still looks very impressive. Then the second physique of an actor that I admire is Chris Hemsworth. He has a lot of mass but still looks very lean. And he isn't too lean, I think there is a leanness where he almost can look a bit unhealthy. But he looks amazing, healthy, visible abs, everything perfect. So now, how do we get there? We all know that we need to eat less calories if we want to lose body fat. But the difficulty is that we shouldn't eat too few calories that we also lose our hard earned muscles. So the easiest way how we can find out how many calories we need to consume is with a calorie calculator. I usually just fill out a few different ones on the internet and then calculate the average of all of them myself. And what I actually want to find out from the calorie calculators are my maintenance calories. So how many calories I need to consume to stay the same weight, not gain any or lose any weight. So once I've got this number, I subtract 200 calories from it. Let's take me as an example. If I consume 3000 calories a day, I stay the same. I don't gain any weight or lose any weight. So if I subtract 200 calories from this, I have 2800 and I'm in a calorie deficit and I will lose body fat. And to make sure that the calorie deficit isn't too high or too low, I weight myself every day. The goal I have is to lose around about 200 grams per week. If I lose more than 200 grams per week, it's very likely that some of it is muscle tissue and that's not what I want. In this case, I would go up a bit with my calories. The longer I'm in a cutting phase, the more I have to adjust my calorie intake. Because in the beginning, I will lose weight with relatively high calories. But the deeper I'm in a cut, the lower I have to go. Now, as soon as I hear the word cutting, I think about how much I love eating and I don't want to restrict myself. That's why I also start implementing cardio, but it is very important to choose the right type of cardio. Because I could do sprints and burn loads of calories, but this would cost me some muscle mass because our bodies can't recover from heavy weightlifting and very intense cardio sessions. So my go-to is low intensity cardio. If I do this for 30 minutes, I burn up to 300 calories. So theoretically, I don't even have to eat less to be in a calorie deficit. So it's actually pretty simple to get in sick shape for the summer. If you want to have the top 1% physique, then that's all you need to do. Well, I hope this was helpful. If yes, then please like the video and then see you in the next one.